And before we get too far, this is where I like to put hotkeys because you may feel like, hey, you know what, I'm getting kind of used to like, okay, I can go over here and I can just grab these brushes real quick. But you would be amazed how much faster and easier and more fluid you'll be in ZBrush with a custom interface and custom hotkeys. We'll start with custom hotkeys. And again, a really good example of custom hotkeys will be with the brushes you use all the time. If you use something in ZBrush all the time, just constantly while you're working, I would assign a hotkey to it. If you use something pretty often, I would have maybe a custom menu assigned to a hotkey so you can use it as a marking menu, which we'll get to later. If you use something a little less often than that, I might throw it here in my interface. And then if there's something you only use a few sessions, and if there's something you only use a few times a session, maybe you can throw it up here in your light box. And again, where this location is, you can just tap on any one of these and this will tell you exactly uh, where these folders are. So anything, again, if you use a brush every once in a while, you can make a custom, like I got some custom menus in here, like a military folder in here, and then I just throw some brushes in here. So if I go to C, Program Files, Pixelogic, ZBrush 2021, ZBrushes, put a military folder in there, throw some brushes that you use every once in a while. And then if you ever need to use these, you can just go in here again every once in a while. But again, if you use something all the time, assigning a hotkey is a really good idea. So for example, what I like to do is I'm going to go into my brush mint palette here. And here's all of these ones that I've used. If you haven't used any, you can find them all in here. So for example, we'll just go down the line here, this clay brush. I'm going to hold down Control alt and tap the clay brush. I'm going to type in a key combination. I'm going to do Alt-C, but of course you can do any key combination you'd like. Clay Buildup, Control-Alt, I'll assign that to Alt-B, Damn Standard, then Control-Alt, Alt-D, down here to H Polish, Control-Alt, Alt-H. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So I'm going to overwrite whatever hotkey that was. And again, I'm not telling you what to assign a hotkey to, or what even what hotkey to assign, to that brush that you use, but just figure out what brushes you're going to use all the time. These are brushes I use all the time. Your brushes may be different. Assign hotkeys to them and you'll just move that much faster. Move brush, control alt, alt w, pinch, control alt, alt y, standard, control alt, alt s, trim dynamic, control alt, alt t. And with all these brushes saved as hotkeys, one thing I'd probably do is go up here to preferences and under hotkeys you can choose store and hit OK. That'll go ahead and store your hotkeys. If you want to know the location of those, go here to your ZBrush data, so users, public, public document, ZBrush data 2021 in this case for the version number. Z startup, hotkeys, and then this hard startup hotkeys is going to hold all of your hotkey information. So now if I want to make changes to this, I can very quickly switch to Damien Standard, go through here and start carving in some of these areas. I can hit Alt C to go to my clay brush and start building up some volume. So again, Damien standard to go through and cut clay brush to go through here or clay build up. Damien standard to hold down Alt and pull up clay brush to kind of build in between those volumes. Maybe go in here to trim dynamic and trim some of these edges down. Go in here to my move brush to quickly go through and start moving some of these shapes around. So you can see how quickly, you know, switching between brushes can help work. And so, you know, we'll do this on the, on the ear here. So the ear is going to be, you know, kind of between the brow and the nose. We're just going to take this clay brush or the clay buildup brush and we'll kind of start blocking in an ear. Let's go ahead and drop that Z intensity down on that clay buildup brush. I forgot we moved it up earlier. So again, we'll just block in this volume, hold down Alt, So we got an ear shape here, hold down shift to smooth. Let's go ahead and put our Z intensity back up to 100 on that smooth brush. We'll go in here with our Damien standard and we'll start carving in our ear shape. So this is kind of kind of loop around and then you can hold down alt and pull up to a plane. Again, grab our clay brush and start building up. Hold down alt to start carving in. Let go of Alt to start building up. Let's go through here and we'll put in a little bit of a zygomatic arch. Again, Damien standard brush. Maybe go back to our standard brush, hold down Alt and dig in. 
So again, just very fluidly switching between brushes. Go into our move brush here, Damien Standard. Control drag to re-dynamesh. Damien Standard to kind of carve back in. Clay brush to kind of knock this back a little bit. And there you go. See how easy it was just to block out a basic shape using just the brushes and the hotkeys that you've made so far.